Hello, my name is Dan and I'm one half to group Rudimental Drummers. We've been ambassadors for MuseScore for about two years now. Last year, MuseScore created a poster called Essential Rudiments, which is a notated list of various percussion techniques that became quite popular. So we decided to create a quick video showing you what each of these percussion techniques are and how they should be performed. By the way, MuseScore is giving away a limited amount of printed copies of this poster. You'll find more information about this in the description below. And for those who miss out, you can still download the poster from MuseScore.com. So, let's get started by looking at the first technique, which is called singles. This may seem like an easy exercise at first sight, but it's the perfect exercise to focus on the most fundamental skill of drumming the way you move your stick to hit the drum. Focus on getting a very natural resonance of the stick and drum. Play everything relaxed and legato. The second rudiment is called the paradiddle, which consists of two alternating strokes and two strokes with the same hand, also known as a diddle. The third rudiment, which is the paradiddle diddle, is a variation of the paradiddle. You just play an extra diddle at the end of the paradiddle, like its name. A flam is a little musical ornament, which can be used to stress a note or to give a certain note a little more body. For the next rudiment, the flam accent, try to maintain an even pressure throughout the hand. This will help you to play the flam accents very smooth. Don't squeeze your sticks to play the accent or the flam, because that will abolish your open, warm and dark sound. The next flam variation on the poster is the flam tap. In this exercise we start with the right hand triple stroke for one bar. And bar by bar we add the left hand strokes, stroke for stroke. The next exercise is exactly the inverted version of the previous exercise. That means that now you have to make sure that you play a crescendo and not a decrescendo. Let's move on to the next rudiment, the double rolls. Just like any rudiment so far, keep every motion relaxed and do not squeeze your sticks to play the diddles. The triplet rolls are almost similar to the double rolls when it comes to technique. The only difference is that you have to think in triplets instead of eight notes. The next roll rudiment is the tap roll. It's almost similar to the triplet roll but now you play an accent on the first partial of the triplet and the roll starts on the second partial of the triplet.
In the last rudiment for today, the book report, all the techniques we just discussed come together. The skeleton of this rudiment is the paradiddle. Then, on the first and the last partial of the paradiddle, a diddle is added. And on the third partial, there is a flam. Okay, that's it. If you'd like us to come back in the future to demonstrate more percussion stuff like this, let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to see more community contributions like this one, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about our group, Rudimental Drummers, you can find links to our work in the description below. Also, you can find links to the new RD pads we are developing. Thanks so much for watching and take care.